can we have Ms. Kim Ng from NJC? Would you like to pose your question? Hey, hello. So thank you for the sharing just now. And I actually have this one question that uh, I was thinking about while we were going through. So uh, this year, we actually did this really major policy change where we repealed the Sedition Act for the first time in 80 over years. And we actually came up with the new Maintenance of Racial Harmony Act. And the point of this was to move away from, I guess, a way of criminalizing racism to a softer approach in addressing our racial ties in Singapore. So do you think that this, for one, is sufficient, I guess, in addressing race-based tensions in Singapore? And does this reflect on our shifting as a society towards, uh, I guess, a more a softer and more collaborative approach towards tackling race te racial tensions? Uh, I'll answer that. Uh, being a former lawyer, I will also tell you that law has its limits. Uh, there's so much that laws can do. In fact, laws cannot do a lot of things. It can set norms, it can set certain parameters, uh, it requires, uh, it can compel certain actions, but the law exists in a context. It uh, requires support of the community, it requires, uh, uh, you know, attitudes, you know, and if the majority in Singapore uh, uh, do not believe in uh, being kind to minorities, then I think, you know, you can have all kinds of laws, maintenance or whatever, this, that, you know, uh, those laws, you know, would be quite meaningless. In fact, many countries have got anti-corruption act uh, and their act are almost the same like Singapore's, you know, uh, word for word even. But there's difference between, you know, uh, how the things, how uh, their societies are run, how the people, uh, the political will, and the political will, of course, will depend very much on how the people uh, view these things. So societal change or societal norms play a very big part in uh, setting the context in, in how the law is applied. So I think that is going to be very critical. And yes, I do uh, believe that we should move away uh, from legal enforcement. I think the point made by Dr. Matthews just now, one, in one of his slides, he said that, you know, less policing. Yes, I think, you know, frankly speaking, we should not require the police even to give a warning over some guy who make racist rants. I think that shouldn't be how we deal with it. Um, but, you know, we are in state of flux and transition. Um, ideally, we would like to govern norms and people to accept that certain things are just not how it's supposed to be. So laws play a very important part, yes, but you know, there are limits and very much depends on how young people like yourselves view things and how, and we set the parameters on what is okay and what is not.